Jess here with Lush Jess. I don't do dinner videos much because as you can hear in the background, it's always kind of chaotic around dinner time. But I told you guys we were gonna be using up a lot of stuff in our freezer and pantry. And a lot of you said that you wanted to see the dinners we made. So I'm gonna just show you clips here of us using up our stuff. They're not gonna be the fanciest dinners y'all, but they're free because they're stuff that we've already bought. <laughs> so we don't have to go out and buy anything. The kids are having a variation of this. Uh, they're having some breakfast too. This is breakfast for dinner night. I cooked them up some freezer pancakes and freezer French toast with fruit. But anyway, this is what Dave and I are having. I made some sausage biscuits, but my biscuits kind of fell apart. It's a little bit of a fail. Um, I don't have good luck with these, this brand, and they were out of the grands. This is the star of the meal, these roasted red potatoes. These are so good. I just um, tossed them with some vegetable oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. And then I cut up some fruit. So this is what we're having tonight, and um, I'll just keep showing you clips every night of what I pull together out of just random stuff. So anyway, here's tonight's. All right, you guys, another night, night two of using up stuff in the pantry. So I made enchiladas tonight. I found a pound of ground beef in the freezer, defrosted it. I usually use black beans in my enchiladas. Sorry, Nate is blaring something very loud. <laughs> Um, but I didn't have any black beans, so I used, I had one can of chili beans, so I used that. I've never used chili beans in this before, but hopefully it'll be okay. And then I used up a can of enchilada sauce, some flour tortillas. We like flour tortillas for our enchiladas. And some cheese and enchilada sauce. So ground beef enchiladas, that's what this is. And this will be enough for us to have leftovers several times. It's a huge pan of enchiladas. So yum, one of our favorites delicious and super easy and that's what we're having tonight for dinner we'll see you guys back tomorrow all right you guys it is now monday night and i forgot to show y'all last night but we had just a freezer meal that i had at taco freezer meal at we were finishing up and i totally forgot to show y'all but it was a tater tot casserole just taco flavored it was really good and david had that left over tonight we had a big lunch so we're kind of keeping it simple i made some popcorn chicken and i just put it on some tortillas with a little bit of cheese and lettuce and then i'm trying out this ranch hidden valley i don't know why it's not focusing the ranch secret sauce from hidden valley and i tasted it it's really really good so i'm having like some chicken popcorn chicken taco <laughs> and it looks really yummy so this is what I'm having for dinner, and we'll see you guys back tomorrow. Okay, you guys, I hope you can hear me over the dryer. <laughs> Here's our dinner creation for tonight. I made homemade, well, no, frozen, the frozen burgers that I have in the freezer. I cooked them up, put some cheese on them, and then lettuce and some Hidden Valley secret sauce, which is really good. And then I made this homemade bean dip. So it's refried beans, cream cheese, shredded cheese, taco seasoning, and I put a little bit of diced jalapenos in there too. And I'm gonna serve it with some tortilla chips and that stuff is so good. I've already tasted it and it's delicious. So that is what we're having tonight for dinner. Nate also had a cheeseburger and he inhaled his. So looking forward to it. See y'all back tomorrow. Hey guys, so Jessica is getting the baby settled for down for to sleep, and so I'm going to tell you what we're having for dinner. Uh, we just took some frozen cheese ravioli out of the freezer, and some pasta sauce we had left over from the last time we cooked uh, pasta, and we melted a bunch of mozzarella cheese on top of it, baked it in the oven for a while. We also have some, um, uh, some really nice bread rolls. Uh, covered in garlic butter. Absolutely delicious. So we're going Italian tonight with uh, baked ravioli and uh, garlic bread. So that's what me and Jess are having for dinner tonight. Okay guys, I hope you can hear me. I've got the dryer going and everything. Everything's crazy. So we are officially one week out from moving and I'm going to show you. I consolidated the freezer. So I'm going to show you what we have left. Tonight we're doing a really easy French bread pizza using up the stuff that we have. And I'm also making some potato wedges just in the air fryer. So those are going, um, I know that's a weird combination, but that's what we're dealing with. Anyway, I put everything from the deep freezer, I moved everything over to our regular freezer. The only thing that's left over there is some breast milk and some ice. And I'm hoping to move that stuff over here in the next few days so I can unplug the deep freeze and let it start defrosting. Um, but it looks really good and we're doing really well. So. Um, I tried to like repackage everything to make it smaller. So we have some mozzarella sticks, 
So quite a few, sorry for that noise, quite a few Uncrustables. That's what we get from the school lunches. The kids will definitely eat those french fries. We have some toaster strudels and some ice cream. And then this is just ice packs. Pancakes, we have another thing of French bread pizza. A few Lean Cuisines, a few party pizzas, chicken nuggets. There's some ice cream back there. We have sausage patties. I actually had one of those for lunch today. A bag of frozen corn, and then all of this is meat. We have um, still a good bit of that. Meatballs, and then like sausage. There's two things of sausage here, a big thing of ground beef, and then all this like little packages of sausage and chicken and ground beef. So. We're doing really well. I definitely think by the time next week comes, this will be even further down. Uh, the pantry probably looks about the same as the last time I showed y'all in that first video. Um, we still have quite a bit of stuff in the fridge. <laughs> so we're still going through that. Um, but we still have a whole nother week of eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. So I think we're looking pretty good. But anyway, I wanted to show y'all what we were having for dinner. Super easy tonight. We'll see you guys back tomorrow. Okay guys, welcome to another night. I'm just gonna warn you, the baby's not too happy right now, so he may start screaming. Um, anyway, I'm gonna eat in a second, but I got David's ready. I made just a really simple taco. That's it, it's just tacos. I have some ground beef I got out of the freezer, and then um, I heated up some tortillas. I'm gonna use taco shells because I like the hard tacos. And then he has some cheese and lettuce and taco sauce on top. So really easy dinner tonight. And then for the kids, I made them a two ingredient dough pizza. So simple all the way around. We'll see you guys back tomorrow. All right, you guys, welcome to another nightly dinner. So I just made cheeseburgers again. They look really good. They're still ones I had in the freezer, like the frozen Walmart ones. And then this is my last little freezer meal item that I had and it's mashed potatoes. The only problem is that is still a little bit cold and we're ready to eat so I'm just going to scoop out some and microwave them. Um, I had it defrosting in the fridge for like two days and it was still ice cold frozen um, when I stuck it in the oven but anyway this is what we're having tonight. Mashed potatoes and cheeseburgers. <laughs> I'm going to put some more of that special sauce on and it's really good so that's dinner tonight. All right, you guys, I decided to make our big meal. Today's Father's Day. I decided to make our big meal for lunch instead of dinner so we can just snack tonight. So what I did was, it's hard to tell on here, maybe. Um, I had some, like, chicken sausage in the freezer, like a thing from HelloFresh that we never used. So I defrosted that, and I browned it, and then I mixed it with some Alfredo sauce and some pasta sauce, like marinara. Mixed that together with some rotini, threw it in this... Um, pan topped with mozzarella cheese and baked it. So this is what we're having today left over from all the odds and ends in our pantry. We'll see you guys back tomorrow for another, I think one more idea before we end this series out. All right, you guys, this is the last night and then we're really going to start to package everything up and be done with this food challenge. But, um, I want to show you the last thing I made. I had some meatballs in the freezer that I wanted to use up. And I didn't really want to like make meatball, like spaghetti and meatballs. And I remember it actually had a comment today on the video I did about the barbecue like party meatballs. And I thought that would be really good. So I put them in a pot and then I put this, I had this in the refrigerator that I need to use up almost, um, it was like halfway and I used almost all of it. Um, to put on the meatballs, the sweet baby rays, and then a little bit of grape jelly too that I had in the fridge. And then I just like, like kept it on low and like it's getting all kinds of delicious. And David was at the store getting us some more tape. And I said, hey, grab some Hawaiian rolls. And so we're going to eat them on this with maybe some apples cut up. And we have some chips. Do something like that. But I wanted to show you since this, this is the last day how we did. Everything has been moved over here. I think I told you all that. Um, I did end up giving away some food to a friend but most everything we have eaten down on our own it's looking so good um like a lot of this is even breast milk um so that's coming with us but we're doing really good with food we'll take some of this meat with us and i'll show y'all um there's mostly like drinks and then like the kids food stuff in here and don't mind the mess everywhere the pantry it looks full but when you start looking at it it's really pared down there's some canned goods um and my bottle pop. <laughs> yeah your bottle pop a little bit of 
bread, tortillas, some snacks to take with us, like a couple things of pasta, and then, and some, some cereal and goldfish. And we're supposed to go up there, but I just need some ice cream. So that is going to be it for our freezer eat up moving challenge. Thank y'all for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I'm going to go get a crying baby. Love you guys. Please subscribe if you're new. We'll see you all later. Bye. Bye.